Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. So today, it's the last few days before... I knocked my crystal over. It's the last few days before July, um, and it will be July next time I'm doing re uh, videos, so let's do the July birthdays today. So for everybody who has a birthday in July, and that's going to be... I'm not mistaken, uh, people with the Cancer sign and with the um, Leo sign. So let's see what the runes have to say for your year to come on your birthday. So I'm just going to start with, that's like the most smudged era that I have. So, <laughs> so I'm going to start with uh, just five to start with to, uh, to get an idea of where we're at now. And then we're going to go forward from there. So let's get started. So you're so... I'm going to add one more word. Oh my gosh. Premature beginning. So your central issue at the moment is we have Yira. Yira is the rune of the technically the year. It's, it's the rune of harvest and it's also a rune about time. Um, you're very concerned right now, it looks like, with how much time has passed and how much time there is left. Also, you're thinking very much about uh, fruits of your labors, things that are coming up um, that, you, that you have been tending. Um, leading up to this, we have the blank rune. Really, things have been in kind of a state of really the unknown. We really just, you, you just haven't been having this feeling like everything is sort of, you're blind to things, like things are just out of your, out of your line of sight and out of your control, which we're going to see in a minute about. Um, but basically this has led up to your current question of, you know, how much time is there, that, that have I used or wasted, how much time is there left, and, um, and also just concern about the, the fruits of your labors and what you've been working on. So what helps? We have Hagalaz. Hagalaz is the rune of the hailstorm. It has to do with chaos, but also natural forces, natural energies, and the uncontrolled uncontrollables, but it's in the helping line which says to me that you want to basically, you know, you're concerned about all of this, just basically embrace the fact that, you know, you can't push the river, um, although we're going to get to that you can't push the river. <laughs> everything is sort of, um, everything I'm, I'm, I'm about to mention will probably be seen in the future. Um, so, <laughs> so I've actually thrown down a couple more runes to uh, clarify this line because it is the first and most central line and where we're starting. So basically what Haglas is saying on the helping line is just basically embrace and accept the, the natural way things are and that you don't have control over um, a lot of aspects of something that is coming into fruition, um, something that is involving a certain amount of time, but you don't know what that amount of time is going to be. Um, what also, what helps, what helps is we have Fehu. Fehu is the rune of uh, wealth and worth, cattle basically, but so it's the wealth that you tend. Um, Basically, to, to be, you, you know your worth, you know, your, you know what you have that makes you rich, and this is what you've been working on. Um, so let this inform this sort of surrender to chaos, to the, not surrender to chaos like, ah, but sur surrender to chaos like the natural energies of things, like natural forces, let those work. Now what doesn't help is we have Kana's reversed and we have Ride though. So Kana's reversed, Kana's is the rune of fire, it's the torch, it has to do with like a little something that starts as a little ember and turns into a big blaze. Reversed it seems to be, it, it's, it's what doesn't help is that you're sort of worried about narrowing of options, um, narrowing of focus, you're, you're sort of, what doesn't help is, not just that, but narrowing your focus is going to not help. Like if you are focusing on this harvest that you're working on and you're not taking anything into consideration, like maybe it hasn't rained as much as it ought to. Maybe it's, you know, maybe there are things, there are factors that are going to delay this or maybe even bring things up in a way that you didn't expect. And as long as you have a very, very, very narrow focus of what you want from this, it's going to drag you down. It's going to make you unhappy. And this is basically... Um, increased by the fact that we have Raido in the lowest line of what really isn't helping you. It's like you had this plan of this journey, you had this idea about this journey that you're on, completely not taking into consideration the nature part of it, the fact that when natural energies are involved it's actually going to be a surprise, 
I'm sorry, what popped into my head just now was Mars. <laughs> well, all the astronomical cool things is that whenever they discover something in astronomy, it's always so much cooler than anybody thought it was going to be. So like when they went to Mars and nobody expected they would find little blueberry sized spheres of, of hematite, but that's something that they found there. When they went to look at Pluto close up and they found there's a big heart on a shape on the side of the planet. I mean, these are things that nobody would. And so you may have had a plan. So bring it back to this. You may have had a plan for your journey along this way, and you may have very narrow vision of what you wanted on this journey. But when you open up to the natural energies of things, what you're going to get is so much more than what you would have gotten if you had just stuck to this plan and not allowed anything extra or cool or surprise to come in. So your next step on the on the on the path for your reading is we have Ivaz. Ivaz is the rune of the yew tree. It has to do with patience and slow growth. Sometimes it has to do with moving between worlds, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, maybe it does. <laughs> um, so basically at this point, you know, you're, you're still working on your, your harvest. You're thinking about it, you're concerned about it, and also time and things and, and your journey that you were worried about. But that you're, you're sort of allowing new things to be a part of it that are naturally occurring. Um, what is going to help is we have Thurizaz reverse. Thurizaz is the root of the challenge, um, this thorn of the giant or the gateway. It is reversed, so it's going to be a fairly difficult challenge, which says to me that if you were clinging to your original plan of your journey, this is where you're going to hit a wall because the only way over that wall is to embrace the challenge. Um, basically to see this is my challenge, this is my, and you know, I, and whenever I get this rune, I wasn't going to put another, but I'm going to do it now. Um, yes, good. I'm going to increase the lines, the runes in this line. So, <laughs> so what is really going to help you get over this challenge besides embracing it? It's like accepting it, staring at it head on and seeing, okay, this is my challenge is we have algaes. Algaes is the rune of the elk, um, otherwise known as the moose, and it has to do with uh, protection and support. You do have um, protection and support that you need, and this is coming from not only your feelings of wealth and worth, um, but also you just, you know, your friends and family, your, your support system around you is going to help you get past this challenge, but you do have to face it, and that's what's going to help you. And part of the challenge is that it just feels like it's taking a really long time. So what doesn't help is we have Sovilo and we have Uruz, so we're concerned about energy and we're concerned about strength. Um, and stubbornness, actually, because this carries over from the um, journey rune. So you're still feeling a bit twingy about letting go of your initial plan, which didn't allow for anything exciting or, or or a surprise. So you're still a bit stubborn and that's going to drag you down, but also you're worried about uh, energy levels, you're worried about the energy that you, that you might have uh, to get through this, because it seems to be a much longer road than you expected. Honestly, everything takes longer than you think it will, so it's one of those things. But <laughs> if you start to feel that way, bring yourself back to the fact that this is your challenge. You, you are facing this head-on and you do have the support and protection that you need to get through it. And your next step on the path line is really good. I mean this would actually sort of say to me that some of this is starting to really happen. The fruits of your labors are coming up it would it would seem from this point because this is Manas, it's the rune of humanity and your place in it. You are feeling really at this point like you're stepping into your place um, in, in a good way. Not like your place but, <laughs> but you're stepping into um, where you where you wanted to be and where you never thought you could be, but you actually even are there as well. Um, I'm going to throw down a few more to bring us a little bit further on. What is going to help is that this is a big revelation. Like at this point, it's like finding yourself in this place and after this long journey, long um, de slow development and slow growth, is it's just this blaze of revelation. It's like the world becomes in like. It, illuminated. And this is basically Dagas, it's the rune of the dawn, uh, the breaking of the day. And you're going to feel like everything is lit up and you're going to be able to see very, very clearly. And this is going to help you um, just comfortably move into your place in, in um, where you feel your harmonic tone is in humanity. 
And what doesn't help you here is, once again, we're dragging this forward. You had this plan. I think this was something that you had in mind for a very, very long time, um, where you feel like you really wanted to shape this into something that you wanted it to be, whereas what it is, where it, what it is and what it is becoming is actually a lot better for you and a lot more excellent than it would have been if you just limited yourself to this. So you're still sort of clinging to that. If that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to real, remembering and realizing, you know, the enlightenment and the revelations and the incredibleness of what you actually have at this point, which is everything seems to be lit up and you do feel very much more like you are where you want to be. And your next step is actually, and this is really cool, is, is Gabo. Gabo is rune of, um, well, it's, it's the gift, it's an, an exchange, but it often has to do with decisions, agreements, and um, goals. And what this would say to me is that you have actually reached whatever it was that you were planning here. When you get to this point, which is just like a few steps uh, along the path, basically when I read um, the full Futh arc, even though forms of divination generally there's no time involved, they don't measure time in calendars and clocks, they measure it in events. That having been said, when I do a full Futh arc reading like I'm doing now, this generally spans about a year. So about as many steps as this is, which we'll see when we're done the spread, um, well, basically, after you've been on this feeling like it's been a long journey and then you feel like, okay, I've stepped into where I need to be, you're going to feel like you have actually, even though it wasn't the same exactly as what you planned, you will feel like you've actually reached your goal at this point. And this is great. And <laughs> what helps at that point is look around at that point and then you can do your weeding and your editing of <laughs> where you are. Um, this is Tend Your Needs. This is the Nauthies. It's the Rune of Need. And look at me pushing ahead with everything while I'm not even done talking. So, <laughs> so at this point where you feel like, okay, I've reached um, the goal that, that I set myself, even though it didn't happen the way I had originally planned, I've reached it. And what helps at this point is we have Nauthies. Nauthies being the rune of need, tend your needs. Basically look around, it will become apparent to you what you need to tend at this point. Get everything weeded and sorted out and, and really tend this garden. So what doesn't help at this point is we have Tivas. Tivas is the rune of boy oh boy oh boy, you know what, you have been dealing with some stubbornness. <laughs> Anyway, it's because this is all of it. All of the blow is continuing with um, this theme of, but I had this plan. And you're st there's part of you that still isn't letting go of this. We have Tivas. Tivas is the rune of um, Tyr. Tyr's the warrior god. And it has to do with um, you know, driving forward, you know, blah, 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 the warrior. Also with tending duties and responsibilities. And so this would kind of seem to be conflicting, but this is always the opposite of this, and I think what this is actually saying in the lower line, in this particular line, is now is the time that you've reached your goal, and you want to basically look around and solidify this goal by, by tending your needs and responsibilities, basically. <laughs> tending your needs. Um, getting it sorted out, edited, weeded, etc. What doesn't help at this point is actually pressing forward. So I take back what I said. This isn't entirely dragging forward this plan that you had. But it is also sort of saying, at this is the point where you're going to pause. You're going to pause here a little bit. And you're before you, you know, drive forward and miss this step of tending things and making things livable, um, you probably still, there's going to be part of you that's going to want, going to, want to still drive forward. This is not the time. Uh, lay that sword down for a minute and come back to, we're going to make this spot in our lives livable. And this is very, very good because the next step on the path line for you is uh, Othala. Othala is the rune of the home and the homeland. So really, show, it really looks like through all this, you've actually arrived where you feel like you're at home, which is great. And what helps is you know when you're, <laughs> when you're at home and you know it, you will feel happy. That was the biggest mangling I have done of a song reference. So, <laughs> so when you're happy and you know it, you're at home. So this is the home that is your feeling of actual home, like, like that. And what helps is the fact that you do feel joy. 
you know this, you, you feel this, you feel much more joyful than you have felt in a long, long time. This is Funyo, it's the joy rune, very, very good. What doesn't help is we have Avaz reversed, and Avaz is the rune of the horse. I'm actually going to throw down a couple more runes on this line um, to solidify it and also to clarify it. Oh, nice. Um, so, Avaz reversed and Ansu's reversed. Ansu's is the rune of communication, Avaz is the horse. Horse has to do with uh, movement and spirit. So, you're a little concerned that you're not really moving around as much as you used to. Um, and also, you're sort of... Um, Ansu's is the rune of communication and manifestation reversed. It has to do with... Um, reversed on the lower line, it has to do with doubt. So, you're going to be a little bit sort of doubting your own mind on this and feeling like, well, but I'm not moving. I was pushing so hard for so long and now I'm not moving. And this is something I'm concerned about. Um, so try not to worry about that. That is going to rise, but it, it doesn't need to because you're so happy and it's like a new beginning. We have Burkana, Rune of Beginnings and Birth. So it's, it's a new beginning. It's a new life. It's really exciting and you feel sort of grounded and homed for the first time uh, in a very long time, if ever, which is great. You're going to really feel like you are where you want to be. So your next step on the path line is Isa. Now I think we only have a couple more runes left, so I'm only going to draw a couple. Ooh, that's interesting. So I'm going to draw a couple, and what I do in this case is I'll read the upper line as the lower line as well. So, so anyway, our next step on the path line is we have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice um, and stand still. You've really gone from a, a through a journey of you know pushing, 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 driving forward, driving forward, to a point where you don't have to do that anymore. You feel like you are at home now. You have a, a groundedness that you didn't have before. You have you have a solidity that you didn't have before. And what's this this step here? You're going to feel like really, really still, and there's going to be clarity, and it's going to be. Good. Part of you is going to feel like you're stuck, but you're not. It's, you know, there's always a yin and yang waves flow to things, so you will certainly be moving again, um, you know, get the action part happening, but you've deserved this rest. Um, so what helps here is we have uh, Lagos. Lagos is the rune of lake, it's water, it's intuition, it's emotion, it's heart. And just like you felt really, really joyful uh, when you realized you have finally reached home, you feel you know, very strong of heart at this point. Your, 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 your heart is full, you are feeling, you know, good emotions, um, your intuition is good, and so in this moment of clarity, what helps there is that, the, the, you know, the good, good emotions, good, strong heart, intuition. What doesn't help, and I'm going to read this the same way, is worrying about that. And it's similar to where you're doubting, because it'll be sort of next to, I'm not moving and I'm doubting my mind. And basically, in, with Lagos in the reverse, in, in this spot, like this, except it's not, it's up here. Um, <laughs> it's basically saying that you're going to worry about that, you're sort of going to doubt it. Try not to do that, um, just basically bring yourself, it's like you feel good. You feel good at this point and things are getting really, really clear. And what this leads to is we have Pertho reverse. Now Pertho is the rune of the lot box, it has to do with surprises, revelations, um, Something in reversed, sometimes it has to do with negative surprises, but I'm going to read this one particularly as inner surprises. You will have learned something and something you'll realize at this point, only after going through all this, you'll realize something about yourself that you did not know before and that is just substantial, substantial learning about yourself after this journey. After all this, I think that's probably this time next year, you'll probably, I'm, I'm assuming that given the yin-yang flow of things, you'll probably be taking off again and, and being active and busy, but at this point you will actually have this home, uh, home, home feeling, home, more home to feeling than you had before, and you will have better clarity and better um, access to your happiness and your heart, and you will learn a lot about yourself. So that is your happy birthday reading for the July birthday people. I wish you a happy birthday in July! And I will see you again next time. Bye.